In this video we're going to look at Gregor Mendel and his experiment with peas. We're first going to talk a bit about his biography, where he came from, then the experiments that he did, the findings of exper his experiments, and the conclusions that he drew from those findings. So firstly, a little bit about Mendel. Uh, he was around in the 19th century, and he was an Augustinian monk. Uh, living in Austria, and he did all of his experiments on the peas that were in the garden at the monastery. And he spent eight years doing very, very meticulous experiments and recording all his data. And his observations and discoveries from these experiments form the basis of our current understanding of genetics. So there are a lot of things in, about genetics that weren't known at the time, that he laid the foundation for, which we still use today. So what Mendel did in his experiments is he took peas with different traits, and there were seven different traits that he did his testings on, and he crossbred those peas to see what uh, traits would be expressed in the offspring. Now his findings, and I'll just uh, use the flower colour as an example of one of the experiments that he did, but as I said, there are seven different traits that he was looking at. But when he bred white flowers with purple flowers, uh, he found that the offspring were all purple flowers. Now, when we do genetics, we label our generations, the first generation being the P generation and subsequent generations being F and then with a subscript number. So in this case, the white and purple flower are the P generation uh, and the purple flowers that were bred from this, the offspring, are the F1 generation. What he then found is that when he took two of these F1 generation purple flowers and bred them together, he found that he had three quarters purple flower, while he only had one quarter white flower. And this was interesting because neither of the parents were white, but some of the offspring were still coming out as white in this next generation, which we call the F2 generation. He made three important conclusions from this, these experiments, and I'm going to put it in the terms that Mendel used rather than the genetic terms that we know uh, from subsequent experiments that have been done by other people. So firstly, he found the law of segregation, where each individual has a pair of factors, so two factors for a particular trait, and one of those of the two gets passed on randomly to its offspring. So those two factors are separate uh, and get passed on. Of independent assortment states that different factors for different traits are passed on independently of each other. So for example, if you have a trait for a, or a factor for the trait of white flower that gets passed on, uh, it doesn't matter or this has no effect on whether the trait for yellow seed pod or green seed pod is passed on from parent to offspring. These two traits, the factors that affect them, are totally different and independent of each other. And this isn't entirely true for all traits. Uh, some traits are linked, but Mendel didn't find this, and there's only a few that are in um, more complex life forms. Uh, so don't worry too much about that at this stage. The third law that Mendel came up with was the law of dominance. And this is that one factor or one type of factor will be recessive and the other type of factor will be dominant. And when a dominant factor is present, the recessive factor is masked by that dominant factor. So this means that if you have the factor, going back to the first generation there, the factor for white flower from one parent and the factor from purple flower from the other parent, the factor for purple flower is going to be dominant over the white flower, therefore the offspring, the F1 generation, will all be purple. It follows from this that in order to have a white flower, both of the factors in the pair for that trait need to be that recessive factor. So you need to have both white factors for the white flower trait to actually be expressed. In this video, we have looked at the grandfather of genetics, Gregor Mendel, 
who was an Augustinian monk in the 19th century. We've talked about the experiments that he did on peas that had different traits, for example, white flowers and purple flowers. We've looked at his findings, uh, being that if you cross a white flower and a purple flower, you get a purple flower. However, if you cross these two purple flowers, you get three quarters purple flower and one quarter white flower. And the conclusions that he made from these findings being the law of independent assortment, the law of segregation and the law of dominance. Peace out, guys.